So it, you know, it sounds like a cliche, but she completely embodied her name. Um, it was the perfect name for her. She was someone who lived her life with such integrity and positivity and beauty and love and grace. Whenever we would go over there, the first thing she would say to me is, do you know how much I love you? In the summer, every time in the morning when we would run downstairs, she was always awake before us. And she would, I think she said like, do I hear the little pitter patter of feet? So she was 42 years old when she was first diagnosed. And I remember her telling me, I'm going to be fine. We're going to be fine. And, you know, she uh, did the treatment that the doctor suggested. She had her surgery and she moved on with her life. What she realized is that there's so much more to the healing process than the medical. She felt the importance of the spiritual. She felt the importance of the the physical, the emotional, and through this process, having been so young, she didn't encounter a lot of other people that had had cancer at such an early age, and she met Marsha Wolf, and they just absolutely fell in love with each other, and they started sharing with one another their cancer journeys, and apparently Marsha had heard of the wellness community with the help of Tina Borchert. They brought the first chapter of the wellness community to St. Louis. What was great about the wellness community was a place that one could go um, and share what they needed to share with, with people who they chose to share it with. And my mom was one of the founding board members and remained on the board throughout her life. The wellness community meant everything to her. That was one thing that she kind of went back to. Like even though um, her cancer went away for years, she was still involved in the wellness community. She wanted to also help others to be able to get that. So even if they're cured from cancer, they're still not cured emotionally. So that's what the wellness community sort of does. She cared so much about other people that I think seeing people go through these difficult like situations in their life, she wanted them to have a retreat. So we couldn't have known how much cancer would have touched our lives. We discovered my dad had cancer and he had a really difficult battle. And less than a year later, my Aunt Gail, my mom's sister, lost her battle with cancer as well and hers was very fast and most recently my cousin Lynn was diagnosed with cancer and she's doing incredible now which is amazing you know it goes to show the importance of this organization and there's really no one that um, cancer hasn't touched and unfortunately it's continued to touch our family um, but this has been an organization that continues to be there for us In thinking about this Gracie's gathering, I was asked recently how she would have felt having this event named after her. And it's interesting because I think that she believes so much in this organization that she would be proud to have this event named after her. I think she would be embarrassed. She didn't think that what she did was anything all that special but she would have been proud because she would do anything to support this organization. She just believes so deeply in the cancer support community and its mission.